Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork, just here to share with you um, a process of making a journal. So this is what I do. I've got all my bits and pieces in there that I'm going to use for the journal. I'll go through that with you and show you. I'm actually using my Island Diary of Easedale book um, as the foundation, I guess, uh, of creating the ephemera and um, bits and pieces. So I've already been through and um, pulled the pages out. I pulled them out um, in signatures. They're, um, they're in, so I've, I've just got them like that in the book. Um, this is the second one that I've pulled to pieces. The first one I've got here um, that I've cut up some, some little bits and pieces ready to um, to go on to pockets, tags, pages, what have you. So that's that was my starting point. I just wanted to do a journal using that book. Then I decided on the pages that I was going to use. I'm going to do three signatures. And normally I run off and I've got that many pages that I just, I'm overwhelmed. So this time I decided that I'm going to have three signatures and 10-ish pages in each. So all my signatures, I can't get out of the habit of creating them all the same. So they're all the same. I've got, oops, we'll get it right here in a minute. I've got coffee stain paper. I've got a page from the book. I've got another sheet of my coffee stain paper that I put doilies onto it and then sprayed it with the, I do mine on the table. I'll show you one day. I just pop a sheet down on the table of plastic. Um, I put all my coffee papers, uh, all my coffee paper onto it. And then I spritz the whole lot with coffee or tea, whichever I'm doing. These I happen to just put the doilies on top and then I've got my doilies as well, coffee stained. I've got a piece of coffee stain that I bought, um, a piece of a book that, um, lined book that I've got, a little piece of those um, observers book of, and this is the one of wildflowers. I've got a doily that I, that's tea stained, piece of music paper, Another piece of coffee, another book page, and this one is going to be my centre page. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there is room if I find something else that I really would like to put in, um, but I'm trying to keep them at 10. So they're my three signatures. Now to go into the book, I've chosen um, Tracy Fox's, um, she's got the trifold template, <coughs> pardon me. And in this set you've got your pockets, your tags, there's little envelopes, there's side pockets or bottom pockets, whichever way you want to do it. Um, there's long tags, and these are the pockets, and there's, then there's long pockets as well. Um, I'm using pegs uh, to hold things together. I usually use bulldog clips, but Mrs. Cog uses these, so I've copied her. Um, she said it doesn't mark your pages like the bulldog clips do. So It's also got the trifold blanks, which are like that. And yep, and uh, little booklets like that. So I've got those. I've got a few more pieces of paper just in case I want to cover stuff with. Then I've got 
index cards, enough big ones, one for each signature, three big envelopes, and the same here, three small, three big. Um, and then I've got some ideas that I'd made. I've got a um, journaling card that I've just put tea stained lined paper on the back. I have got next video is going to be um, the um, oh sorry um, my head's not with it again today I'm sorry um, ephemera cards or journaling cards so I've got that's a journaling card small journaling card and I've put this onto the back of um, book paper with this um, I may because uh, I've stitched around it, I may just go over it with my um, white gesso. I'll see. Um, I've got a little book that I made out of um, a little pocket I made out of um, book pages. This was uh, Patricia Veramontes. Um, so I've got another, I've got, I've done one, but I've got three that I'll do for the book. And then this is an envelope. Um, that I did that is going to be not this particular one but the other envelopes I've got there to make up and I'll take you through when I do those this is going to be a flip from the side of a page so you'll have your signature like so that will attach itself to the side of the page it'll flip out and then in there I've just got a journaling booklet so I want to make one for each signature like that. Um, what else have I got here? Oh, I did some... Now, I'll have to put it in the description box. Her name's left me. Um, but if you're part of um, Foxy Creation, uh, Foxy Crafters on YouTube, on... Gosh, I'm really bad, aren't I? I shouldn't be doing this. On Facebook... Um, is it Natasha? Anyway, I will put her name in. She made these. You just um, sew them, fold them all up, uh, ruffles. Um, so I made a few of those the other night in sort of neutral she colours that hopefully will go into the journal as well. Um, what else did I do? Um, there's another little journaling card. So there's another idea that I've got to pop in there. These are the little blank um, folders. I've got them. What I did instead of decorating this side, I put that on the inside and then decorated the outside just with a bit of collage so that you've got that inside. And then I'll put some papers in there like the little booklets. Um, stitch down the centre and that'll be a little booklet to tuck somewhere so um, I'll go through those on a, another video and then I've just bought out of we're um, in Australia for those who aren't aware Light and Easy is a uh, firm that does um, meals um, prepared meals and Pete my husband and I we lost a little bit of weight by doing this and um, for convenience we still do um, and the tags that come with the food I've just saved them all different size and um, I'm just going to cover those and um, use some of those I've got some black ones but this is my little tag bag that I've got uh, and I think that's about it um, okay so I'll pop those back and I'll just show you what I did last night and I'm going to decorate a couple of things. Um, oh, I know what I didn't show you. The trifold itself that comes with the trifold kit. So it comes printed like that. You can print the reverse side. Um, if you want to but I folded it this way 
and decorated it with some collage. So that's how I decorated the back of it. And then when it opens up, one of the little pockets, I've just popped a little tag in there and that's and lined it with coffee's paper at the back, stitched around it, and that's the little tag for in there. I'm going to make um, one for each journal, so uh, one for each signature, I think. So I am definitely making another one to show you how I did it. That one, and it's got the tea staining in there. And then this little one, I've just put the envelopes I'm not sure whether I'm going to stamp on there or just pop a word on there. Um, when I did it, I wasn't 100% sure, so I thought rather than muck up, I'll uh, just leave it. And I've just popped a little piece of my tea stain paper in there for secret journaling. And they just tuck into the spot. And all these little flowers and things have come out of that book. So... Basically, it's cost me um, not much to, to do that. Some eyelets, some um, lay, uh, sari silk and um, stitching around and the kit. So uh, uh, economical to, to do it and it's just, I think it's pretty. I love them. Love them. Okay, so what I did last night, um, Peter was watching football I'm not a big footy fan um, but I sit like to sit there with him while he's he's watching it um, so I sat and collaged some I'll show you at the start um, book pages I sit there and um, get my book and oh, I did the whole, oh no I didn't so I've got this little book. Oh yes, I did. I collaged the whole lot. I did the whole lot. So what I do is I get the book and I sit there and I have two pages and I use my Yuhu glue and I glue and stick so that I've got double thickness of the um, book page. And that's thick enough when you collage on it and then I've got some beautiful um, paper bags that they're a bit of an orangey neutral, not a neutral colour um, and I've just popped that on the back for journaling and then I've stitched around so I did those last night with a few different this is from Gail Agostinelli's um, trims that I've bought some of Tracy's vintage um, collage, uh, Gail's uh, eco prints, I've got them upside down, but, um, some more eco prints, Gail's trim, some of Roxy Creations, um, Rachel's doilies, I thought they looked rather pretty, so I did those last night. So what I thought I might do today is um, you can turn off now if you don't want to watch me, but I'm just going to decorate some of these. And um, I thought I'd just leave the video on uh, and you can uh, watch with me if you like. So let's start with that one and I'll see what we've got in here. So I'm basically just going to put some um, flowers on there. I might have to cut some out, it might be flowers, it might be um, trees, it might be the birds, it might be, it could be anything. So, and I probably should have had stuff ready cut out, but you know me, or you'll get to know me, I just do it as I, as I feel inclined and I'm not going to sometimes I rip around the edge of my um, images uh, and just have that ripped image today I'm just going to um, just leave a little bit of a border and um, just cut around them just see what, what the 
this looked like now. Don't know about that, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. I sort of feel with the lace on there, I need something a little, a little um, specky, a little bit um, more interesting than just. Just old mushrooms, but mushrooms, I just love mushrooms. And I think that probably blends into the back a little bit much. Um, let's see. I've got um, Peter's um, inside. We're having kitchen now, I'm blocking all that off. Kitchen renovations. And uh, He's doing the kitchen up, so today he's painting, and uh, he's uh, up on the ladder. Uh -huh. Up on the ladder, and he's just decided to come in as I'm doing the video. What's happening, love? I'm talking to people on the video. Oh, what's happening? Oh, he's going to keep me in the dark now because I'm talking to you guys. Oh, he's not going to let me know what he's t doing. Oh dear, oh well, not to worry, I'll find out eventually. Um, yes, this might look a little row, um, burnet rose. Now when I do these, I like to cut out the, just cut out the, the name and I pop them on as well. bit of a rip around this one I think it's a I wonder what he's doing in there yeah so we, we're having um, our home is um, it's an old cottage it's over a hundred years old and um, we've got lots of had lots of salt damp and that sort of stuff in it that we fixed up and it's um, I love it it's just old and cozy and small and um, the kitchen was um, can I say butchered by the last people that had it it just was disgusting um, kitchen carpet that you know in its day was was uh, okay I suppose but oh my gosh so we've got rid of the kitchen carpet he's putting floorboards down in there and uh, sort of taking it back hopefully a little bit towards um, what it what it used to be okay yeah all right. well perhaps we could do it up that way, yeah, I like that. Yeah, we I put my yeah. So I thought I'd do a video today because tomorrow, a girlfriend and myself and a couple of girlfriends, we're going to get together and have a play date. Um, do some chattering and have some fun. Do a lot of belly laughing when we three of us get together. It's uh, a lovely day so that should be fun and uh, yep like that now with my little book my glue book so once I've collaged these I don't do a lot to them afterwards I just um you know, I pop the, the a little bit of a flower on there, and perhaps a um, a label, and um, and call it done. And then when they go into the book, if I, you know, put it into a spot that I think it just needs a some a little bit of something extra, well then I'll do it 
um, as I put it into the book or the signature. Um, but on the whole, I just um, I just like to have them um, like that. Just a little bit of collage, a little bit of a photo. Uh, sorry, a um, yeah, well, a, a photo, a picture, a, and um, and a um, a label. And the labels, you know, I can bang. Um, a label, you can um, pop the date on that, you know, of what you're journaling about, or um, you can write a bit of information on it. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're sorry about doing all this, but. Like I said, if you, um, I'm just, I'm just. This is what I'd be doing if the, phone, the camera was off. So I thought, well, I'll just bring you along for the ride. Sounds like he's gone off with the dog for their walk. We've got a standard poodle, uh, Rama, he's called, and he tells my husband each day when he feels that it's time for a walk. And Peter just, twice a day he takes me down to the beach and they go for a walk along the beach. Sometimes I go with them, but um, more times than not I'm sitting in my craft room. And um, in the summer they, um, they swim um, twice a day, well once a day he walks. They go for a big walk in the morning and then... Um, Um, in the afternoon, they go down and have a swim. Uh, this one's a little bit. Well, let's see what's in this one. Decisions, decisions, I've got too many. Too much, too much, too much. Is that too big? Is that too big? Is that too big? Right. Oh, dear me. Oh. So these um, journaling cards can just um, be um, popped in between pages. They can be um, eventually I could um, put some, this, I mean, it may not be this one, but you can add some sari silk down the side like that and then just attach it to the side of the page as a flip out. Um, so that's an option, or the same up, you can flip it up. So the little strings on the side, I just leave them there. Um, whoever's gonna use the journal um, can decide if they don't like them, they can cut them off. So, yeah. So that's that's what I do to them just to to finish them off. Now I don't know where did I put the other ones? I'll pop that one up in the basket. And I've got to get another one out. This 
one's fairly plain, so let's see what we can do. That leads to, well, we've got a butterfly on there. Um, a little bird in the corner, that might look nice. Try and put some flora and fauna in this one. just watched um, Gail Agostinelli, she's putting a baby journal um, together using a um, little golden book. I haven't, I haven't done a golden book um, journal as yet. I just, I keep buying them and my, my kids had heaps of them when they were little and I've still got, and they've still got a lot of theirs. Um, I can't I can't bring myself to cut them up when I've got little grandies at the minute. Um, I mean, Jackson, being 15, he doesn't read them, but he does read them to the little E's. And um, the little E's are, are three and be one on the 20th. He'll be one on the 20th, and Jackson, my first grandson, will be 20, uh, 16 on the 25th. So, um, and then I've got another little one coming in December, which is going to be really fabulous. That's my son's um, and his partner are having a little bubby. So, oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we might have a little birdie down there. Perhaps bit like that. Where the bug? No, I'll pop, pop him over there. Um, I want a... This one will be reasonably plain, I think. And I don't want to cover up that... Hmm. I don't want to cover up the um, butterfly too much, but sometimes you can't, can't but help. Sometimes I use um, wet glue for these, but I do find that the um, the Yuhu, um sticks really well, so um, I'm happy to use that on the tags. See when you you cut around the edges and um, you've got that white showing just by popping the the um, I've used vintage photo just by inking around the edges it just sort of softens them so that it's, it's not as dark. These images and this book is just stunning. I love it. Sitting there on the bed. Oh, I wonder. I had this, I found this the other day. Just sitting on my desk. Can you see him? Just a little. I might pop him up in the corner up there and I don't know how well I can cut him out, but um, little birds. I don't know if birds don't, birds don't eat bees, but he's buzzing around with him with the. I don't know that it's a bee. No, it's not. It's a little waspy thing. So we'll pop him on there. Whoops. I knew he'd come in handy. <clears throat> quiet 
that while I'm cutting this side. Okay, there you go, little fella. We found you a home. Whoops, you want to come? Okay, let's pop you up there. I like it. And then what I didn't do to the other one, I usually just go around the edges as well, just to give that a bit of definition. I don't know that he's going to stick on that paper. It's sort of like a um, handmade paper. Perhaps I might need to... I think I'm going to have to wet glue this one because he's not, he's not sticking to that paper. That's okay, easy fixed. As we do the whole lot while we're at it, hey. His face is stuck down, but so there's that one. So we got. I want to use this. Let's see if we can find one that I'll cut him out. You probably all know that when you fussy cut, you turn the paper and not the the scissors, and that way you'll get the you'll um, get a nice cut, nice even cut. When I first started crafting it with paper I was doing um, card making and the lady that was teaching us um, used to, I'm sure she used to make us fussy cut because she knew I didn't like it. Um, but over the years, I've come to quite enjoy fussy cutting. Um, just a bit therapeutic and you can sit quietly and I often just bring a book in and sit quietly while we're watching telly and just cut and it's, um, yeah, quite enjoyable. She also um, got us to sew on a Card and I couldn't believe it. I thought, what on earth are you sewing on cards for? And now my little sewing machine or my is sitting right next to me, and I sew anything that I can, anything I think might like to have a bit of stitching on it. It gets sewn. So it's funny how over the years our crafting style changes, and we um, progress, and I guess with different pads and different. Um, ideas come to light from different people and we uh, follow along and um, try different things. It's a fabulous uh, journey. Well, I feel I'm, I'm on a, I love it. I'm on a great journey at the moment. It's uh, helped me through a few dark days. So, um, come out here and I lose myself and uh, you just block everything out of what's going on and what's anything that's troubling you. I think it's a um, great um, tool. Okay, we, this is taking a little while but we we'll, might just uh, make this the last one for you to sit through. 
um, just let's know if you uh, if you want to um, um, any more videos like this. Um, I've made too many, you know, I don't, oh, that one hasn't got much colour to it. I wonder if that would... Hmm, we can put a tag over here somewhere. Yep, we'll do that one. Okay, inking, inking, inking. This dark little area here was worrying me too. Or well, not worrying me, you know, you just sort of look at it and you think, oh, that's a bit stark. Um, but just by lightly brushing over with your blending tool, well, that's not light, is it? But it can sort of look as though there's a bit of um, dirt happening there. Right, and take that starkness off it again. Okay, and I think I will put this ink on. Oh, botheration. Oh, there we go. Should be all right because there's none of that homemade or paper, handmade paper on there. Um, I'm thanking everybody that's commented on my videos. I really enjoy um, reading your comments and makes me feel as though I'm doing something that. Um, people want to see rather than just sitting here and um, talking to myself. It's nice to know that there's other people out there that um, are listening. Hmm. It's nice. Now we might just, uh, is it going to be Roxy or is it going to be Roxy? Rachel or Tracy? Tracy or... Oh, I do. I love this. I do like that one. Yeah, but I do like these too. Oh my goodness. That one. Sorry, Rachel. Tracy one out this time. So many people out there with different ideas, different um, digital kits. It's um, mind-boggling, isn't it? You sort of just don't know who to go and um, get stuff off of. And, and I'm one of these people that I see something and think, oh, I've got to have that, I've got to have that. Gotta have it all. But that's not a good thing. There we go. A bit of ink around the edges. So I'll continue to do some of these today, I think. I'll finish those off. And whoops, what have we got here? Ah, that's where the paper folds. The paper bags, you know, they've got that seam down them. Stitching's held most of it. Oh, look at that. You see, I was getting tired by the time I finished these last night. Hmm. I think 
going to be nice. So this will be um, probably the first journal. I haven't bought a, um, a kit. Um, usually I do a, a kit and then um, put some of my own embellishments in with it. But um, this is the first one from Way to Go that will be um, all made from bits and pieces and just using a few little bits of ephemera from um, different digi kits. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you will enjoy coming along the ride with me um, creating this uh, journal. It's um, yeah, it's, it's a bit exciting. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. I've not ever, like I said, not ever done one like this before. So it's um, something new and nice to bring you along on the ride. So um, I'll sign off for now and I'll show you the others when I eventually get them finished. Probably tonight while I'm watching telly again. And um, I'll see you next time. Until then, happy crafting. Bye.